Hi everyone, our group topic is freshman year. My name is Zhang Bo Yi, and I'm going to talk about relationships and friendships. The first thing I want to mention is language difficulties. You know, the language is probably the biggest problem in international students. English is not our mother language, so we probably have some listening and speaking problems. We can't speak and listen so fast, and we can't understand the slangs they are talking about. And also, there are some cultural difficulties we are not mentioning today. It's just language. So, what what should we do to improve our English? Well, what I suggest is just talk to others in English as much as possible to create yourself chances. For example, you're ordering food in Canada, and you really want to know what dish, what this dish is, because it looks so good. You can just go ahead and ask, ask what is this, and the student the assistant will just explain this to you what this is. Sometimes they might speak a little bit fast. You can ask. If if you can slow down, and do nicely to repeat that again, they are really good person, good peoples, and they treat their customers very well. So don't be afraid. And the other thing you don't want to be afraid is to make new friends. New friends is like the color you can have in the freshman year. And here we are caught. Talking about roommates, roommates you meet every day, and he or she is probably going to your first friend. So make sure you talk to each other. Start with "How are you?" and talk about your day or your week. Then just go ahead with the conversation. Well, I had a really rough time with my roommates because we don't talk to each other. I feel so bad at times. But later, I realized maybe she's just shy, and I am a little bit shy too. So I just started, "How are you?" And like every day, we started like, "How are you?" So we got talk to each other, and I got to practice my English, and she got not that boring to face not talking me. So, <laughs> so that's a great way to have a conversation. How are you? And also, you want to share your. Foods or something with your roommates, and this makes you like feeling each other is closer. And also remember to make yourself clean. You know, nobody wants to talk to people who haven't showered in about a month. So here we are talking about the friends. Um, I usually make friends in clubs. Uh, I have a boxing club and an、uh, unchained family, but I really made a lot of friends in boxing club. Like we're learning skills, and I'm pretty much fresh, so I just ask others,、um, "What do I do this, and how do I do this?" And they're just going to explain me very nicely and show me how we're going to do. And sometimes we just go ahead with the conversation and. And talk about each others, and talk about、uh, why you fall into like boxing, and what major are you, like those kind of questions. So I got a few friends who come from boxing club, and、uh, we just make friends like this way. So maybe you guys can attend some clubs and make some new friends. Also, there's a chance that in class to make friends. Have you ever heard about your professor saying, "Talk to your neighbor about some question"? So this is how I met,、uh, how I got my first friend in the college. I was in an econ class, and I got、uh, my professor just tell us to talk to your neighbor, and I talked to my neighbor, which is a really pretty girl, and we talked to each other, and then I. I just we just found something a very similar between us. I like cats, she like cats. Although this is n- nothing about this, the questions our professors ask 
us to talk about, but we love cats. So that makes us a really, um, really close connection. And she always asks me to, if you want to hang out, come to my home, and uh, uh, and we can together pet my cat. And also we are about to、uh, study together about our exams. Um, so, I mean, trying to make friends is not that hard. Just you need need to try to do something alone. Like I made all my friends when I am alone because when I have my new old friends around, I have just I just have like the attention to talk to them, not new people. So it's really important to for me to try to do something alone. Um, maybe you can try this one. And now we're talking about professors. You might want to ask questions about the professors just in a polite tone. And sometimes there are questions. Uh, you want to write emails to ask them. Here's a formal email. How a formal email is formed. So let's go ahead with salutation. The titles. So this email just said to whom it may concern. But you know when our we are writing an email to a specific professor, we know their last names. So as usual, we call them professor something. Sorry, not something. <laughs> the professor the last name or instructor the last name. And some professors will have some preferred like they want them to call their、uh, to call them doctor. Or just professor, and you might want to call them a、uh, Mister last name or Mrs last name, and this is really important for for you to know. And my survey teacher told us don't write Miss last name to this because Miss is a little bit unrespectful. Um, and also in the body, you want no emojis and. Abbreviations in it, because um, some professors will consider this is informal and is not respectful at all. Some professors, I mean. And remember to have your closing like sincerely, and your signature, your name. And you also have the chance to argue your grades. About, about something. So usually we do is just comment to instructors about something, like why I got this score, but in a polite way. And also, you can go to the office hours. You can schedule time, or you can just go ahead to the walk-in hours. So how do we check about office hours? You can go to Carmen. And and see the course syllabus. A lot of professors will just post their working hours on the course syllabus. And also, you can find them at the end of professor's email. So the last thing and the most important thing is to deal with arguments. If you have any arguments with friends, just calm down and open your hearts to talk. And with roommate, it's also talk, and but the difference is you got someone to help, the RAs. So just go to RAs for help if there's really a big argument. And more important is to listen to others' advice and change yourself. Since sometimes it's not others the one who did it wrong, it's probably be you. So listen to others. Sincerity and perfection yourself, and it will also help about later your future. And what else? Don't hide anything inside you. If you your friends just did something made you uncomfortable with, just talk to them. A really good friend will change that for you. So this is probably it. And here are the citations of. Uh, all the pictures I've used. So let's move to the next part.
Today, I want to talk about the differences I've noticed of classroom life between the U.S. and China. Since I started attending to college in the U.S., I found many differences of classroom life between here and China, and sometimes I felt a little bit uncomfortable because of the transition I'm been through. And I believe that many international students, just like me, is experiencing it. And I hope we can all success in this process. Firstly, I wanna talk about the uniform. The students in China must put on their school uniform during the classroom time, and I chose the I've chosen the two pictures. The one on the left shows the most styles of school uniform in China, and the、uh, the picture on the right. Shows the how it really look like when students put on the their school uniform. I think it's not really good. <laughs> However, I found a really interesting things in Target last weekend, and I saw this cloth is on sale. And when I first saw it, I thought it was my school uniform. I think I I mean this is really similar with my uniform, so I don't know, is that a fashion trend or something? However, the educational system here allows me to put on my own clothes, which is really good because I don't I don't like school uniform. Second, the homework, I had have much homework to do when I'm home. And、uh, sometimes I will spend four hours to finish my finish all of my homework. And if and、uh, sometimes maybe maybe more than four hours. I think、uh, I mean it depends on my math teacher. Sometimes I will spend about three hours for math, which is horrible. I think, and、uh, math in China is really difficult for for anybody. Any of my classmates. However, I can deal with my assignments in about two hours every day, maybe less. I mean, because because I have less homework.、Uh, I, I mean, I have not man not so many classes in this semester, so I can use a lot of time to enjoy my college life, such as go to art park or play soccer with. Anybody, which is really good, I can develop my interest. I love you. Then, I want to talk about the courses. Just take my major math as an example. The chart on the left shows the courses of college in China. From this chart, you can notice that we need to learn a lot of. Things about math and the politics and English. Politics is is the course the Chinese students must take in their college year, and the English course they must take too. And、um, a graduate, a undergraduate students must finish English college English. I mean the English level four examination. I mean, every student in college should have finished this. So that is why the English is really important as the students' major. Because some some students in China、uh, make an example, they are good at math or chemical or physics, but they can't. But they are not good at in English, and they cannot pass the English level four examination. So、um, they cannot graduate. Which is really terrible. However, the course of college in the U.S. and is on the is the picture on the right. I downloaded I downloaded it from from our school's website, and I think the university or college here is really think highly of G E G E G E courses, and.、Um, If I、uh, I'm a math I'm a student who is majoring in mathematics, and 
and uh, I, and uh, at first I cannot believe that I can choose the courses which can let me drive a plane or try parachute or something, which is really cool. So the I think the educational system here is uh thinks general education is really important to any students in the U.S. I think. Which is really good because everyone has their interests and、uh, they can take many courses they really want to do, not just math. Besides, I don't really like math. However, as a freshman, um, I found a million changes since I'm in a new school, a new educational system, as well as a new environment. All of the things I should do or we should do is just to adjust ourselves and to keep a good behavior so as to success in the college life. So that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Jia Hao Guo. Today I want to talk about food as a freshman in OSU. When I first come to Ohio. I was excited by these new types of food, but that soon become a problem to me because the fact is that I need to eat this food for over four years, and that's difficult for people who was already accustomed to their country's food, and that really take troubles to me because in the first two weeks I get stomachache and it really feel. Bad, and it also makes me depressed because I can't eat my country's food. But life needs to be continued, so I found some way to adjust. The first way is to choose food similar to my country. For example, I chose broccoli as vegetables. The second way is to go to the restaurant one or two times per week, which can satisfy. My requirement to my country's food. The third way is to take a walk after having a meal. That is good to me because I have some stomach、okay, ache after eating these foods. And the final way is that it really needs time to accustom. Next, I want to talk about school diet because I spend most of my time to eat in. School dining hall, and that's also economic to me. The food provided by school is good, and I especially like the noodles in here. I almost eat it every day. The variety of food is good. I think so, because you can eat the food from many different regions, like Indians, and there's also. Chinese food in the second floor. I really like the chicken. If one day you feel boring to school diet, you can do it yourself, which means use Tom's kitchen to cook food you like, or you can use the microwave oven in your room to heat some food for yourself. Some good choices can be dumpling or maize. They are easy to deal with. I think the most important. Things in here is that the process is the most fun part in here, and you are enjoying it. And this process can also reduce your pressure in daily life. If you are too lazy to do it yourself, just like me, I can recommend some good restaurant, Noodles and Company. I always go there, and I really love spicy Korean noodles. Diaspora is a good Korean restaurant near Noodles and Company. Papa John's Pizza. I highly recommend you to choose Buffalo Chicken Sandwich in here. The Joyce Village is a good Chinese restaurant on, in the underground. The Red Chili, my favorite Chinese restaurant, and Nanjiao Noodles, and it really helped me to survive during orientations. In the end, I want to talk about how food relates to success. First, 
Eating food helps people get out from pressure because eating itself is a good entertainment. Second, helping students keep health because food provides necessary nutrition to keep a healthy body. Third, it can create a good environment for thinking because eating food provides enough energy to keep man active. Third, it can improve the passion. On doing exercise because if you are still eating food, you will become fat, and if you don't want to become fat, you will do more exercise. My topic is after class activity for freshmen. Uh, and in the first, uh, I want talking about uh, playing basketball. Uh, the first reason is I think basketball is an easy way for freshmen to meet foreigner friends. Uh, which also can improve self English communication ability because you know when I playing basketball I need always、uh, talking and communicate with my team member、uh, to help us、uh, win the game and the second reason is I think basketball can improve team cooperation ability for a freshman and also can release the pressure of study and life. Uh, so I think basketball is a good choice、uh, for freshmen.、Uh, and the second、uh, after class activity I think is fitness. Uh, because everyone know, uh, the most important thing for students is health. Uh, only a people is health,、uh, they can do anything they want to do, and.、Uh, A、uh, long-term study and do not、uh, exercise will affect the health of the body. However, fitness can exercise body that cause people not、uh, susceptible to illness and keep health. Uh, the second reason is uh, fitness uh, can keep people from getting fat. Uh, and having a good body can uh boost uh, people's uh, confidence. Uh. Take take myself for example. I always、uh, fitness with my friends after class. Uh, and uh, I feel fitness uh, uh to bring a lot of、uh, benefit for me. Hmm. And uh, the third uh activity I think is、uh, watching movie. Hmm. The first benefit of watching movie is.、Uh, Going to cinema with freshmen, uh, friends can promote pro promotes、uh, friendship, and、uh, watching movie can relax and experience a different lifestyle in movie, which also can relax、uh, relax the pressure and、uh, kill time. Um, and、uh, the last、uh, benefit is、uh, freshmen also can learn English. Uh, practice uh, listening and、uh, speaking from movie. Uh, because uh, I'm a Chinese uh, student. Uh, uh, when I every time when I watching English movie, I can study a lot of uh, uh English vocabulary. Uh, in the movie, and、uh, the fourth uh, after class uh, activity, I think、uh, that can be. Reading novel and book, uh, because uh, reading can widen the vision and、uh, enrich students' knowledge and apply it in life or study. Uh, for example, when I writing a essay or or article, I can use a lot of knowledge and information from uh books and novel. And、uh, reading the English book also can improve our reading. Comprehension, uh, com comprehension and、uh, expand the vocabulary, uh, and uh, the last、uh, after class activity I think is, uh, uh, travel in weekends. Travel in weekend, uh, first of all I think、uh, travel with friends, uh, near school on weekends can help freshmen learn more about、uh, Columbus culture and even U.S. culture. Uh, and the、uh, second reason is to promote uh traveling week uh travel with uh, uh friends can promote relationship with friends and enjoy the screen 
uh, screen can relax the stress uh, because uh, uh, in study study day uh, we ha we have a lot of uh, stress from study and life uh, such as uh, the uh, worry about the degree uh, degree and uh, worry about uh, the GPA but uh, travel with friends can relax this uh, stress uh, that's why I think uh, travel in the weekends is a good choice for a freshman uh, after class And here are the sources we used of our pictures. <laughs>